Yo, what up? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In the last couple of videos, we created this nice looking login screen. And so we can now log in users as well as create a new user using this register page. So the natural next thing that we're going to do is to create a little text widget here that says forgot password. So if the user did forget their password, then they can click on this and we'll send them a password resetting link to their email. So let's give this a go. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is to add that little bit of text that says forgot password. So if you look on our login page and we scroll down, let's go to where our password text field is. And underneath here, I'm just gonna create a text widget. And let's say forgot password. Cool, now if you save this, you can see it's in the middle automatically. So the way we set this up, this column is getting everything to be centered. So I actually want this kind of on the right hand side. So one little trick you can do is to wrap it in a row, which will bring it to the left hand side and you can change this main access alignment to the end, which brings it over here. And all of the padding I've used is actually a padding of 25. So let's say horizontal and 25. Cool, so there it is. And let's actually bring in another size box above this as well. Sweet, there it is. And just so that we can let the user know that this is a link you can click on, kind of like this register now button. Let's grab this text style and give it to this guy as well. Cool, so we can click on that link. Now, once I click on this, it needs to be tappable. So let's wrap this text widget with another widget called a gesture detector. And if we tap on this, then let's execute a bit of code. So if I tap on this forgot password, then I want to bring a new password page. So we're going to use a navigator.push and we're going to navigate to a new page. Now we haven't created this page yet. So let's just write this first. We're going to return What should we call it? Let's call it forgot password page. Okay, so if I click on this, then we're going to return this password page, which we're gonna create now. So in the pages folder, let's call it forgot password page. And let's create a quick page here. So a stateful widget called forgot password page. And let's just give it a scaffold. And in the body, let's create a text widget saying, enter your email and we will send you a password resetting reset link. Something like that. So let's come back to the login page and import this new page that we just created. And let's see if this works. So I'm on this page and if I forgot password, then it brings us our forgot password page. Okay, so it looks like everything's stuck to the top. So let's just decorate this UI a little bit. So first thing is maybe just create an app bar because it brings us this back button. And I'm just gonna change this to deep purple. So here you can decorate it however you like, but let's just leave it like that for now. And this text widget, let's wrap this in a column. Okay, because we want to say this bit of message to enter the email. And we also want to come back to the login page and let's grab one of these email text fields. So it's gonna be the same text field. 
and we're going to have to create this controller. So let's come up to the top and say final email controller is a text editing controller. Okay, so here it is. So the text controller just keeps track of what's inside. And then finally, under this, let's create a material button. And we'll do something when the on pressed is touched. And here, let's say uh, reset password. And the color, we can just make it like a light deep purple. Cool, so here is our button. And just to make this look a tad nicer, I'm just going to main access alignment all of this to the center. Cool, and this text widget, let's just align this to the middle as well. And let's just add some quick padding here just to make it look nice. And finally, I just want to put in some sized box. Between these guys. So we can make it look a little bit more prettier later on. But let's just get the functionality right here. So if the user types, say, a particular email, which is their email, and we click reset password, then when we press it, we want something to happen. So let's call this method password reset. And we haven't created this yet, so let's come up to the top and first of all, dispose of this controller. And we're going to create the method here. So future password reset. And we're going to say await Firebase auth.instance. And you should be able to see here send password reset email. And we have to give it the email. So that's just this controller here. And let's just grab the text and also just trim it so that we can format it correctly. Cool, so, so far looking good. Now, one thing that I wanna do is if I just put this in a try catch, this will help us identify if there's any errors. So if I click on this reset password, it'll call this method. And we're first of all gonna try to reset it. So if that happens, then good. Now, if it doesn't, then what's the error? And I'm just gonna print it in our console over here. So let's give this a go. Now there's a couple errors that you can run into. So for example, let's say we come across an email that doesn't exist in our database. Then if you reset the password, then you can see, if I just bring this up, you can see here it says there is no user record corresponding to this identifier. So this is because we don't have a user with this email. Now, if that's the case, then I actually want to print it to the user. Like if the user types in a wrong email and they reset it, right now we can see it in the console, but I want to give some feedback to the user. So the way to do this is maybe let's just show a dialogue. And so let's create an alert dialogue. And in the content, let's just put in the text widget for the error. Okay, so this is the error that we just printed out. But this time let's print it out in our app. So just get the message and convert it to a string. So if I try this again and get put in a wrong email and I reset the password, then it says the error. Okay, so 
yeah, you can customize whatever you want your error message to be, but it's good to give the user some feedback. I think it also works if you don't put in a proper email. Like if you just put in some stuff like this, it says the email address is badly formatted because it doesn't have like an at sign and stuff like that. So yeah, this is why Firebase is so easy to use. But okay, so now let's say we actually have a user. And so one of the users that I created in the last couple of videos was mitch at gmail.com. And so similarly, let's copy this show dialogue and paste it over here. Okay, so if we are successful in resetting the password, then we want to let the user know about that fact. So say password reset link sent check your email something like that so if we put in a proper email then it will show this message password reset link sent so check your email then the user can go back to their email and reset the password Cool, and then if you check your email, then you should have gotten this reset password and we can click on this link. And put in whatever your new password is, new password. So password is changed, you can now sign in with your new password. Awesome. Cool, and once you've done that, you should be able to sign in using your new password. So that's how we do it. Good thing we sorted out this particular functionality. If you want your app to be actually usable in real life, then you're going to need this sort of service in your app. So now that that's done, we still have a few more things in authentication that we can take care of. Like for example, we can put in a loading screen, um, like a circular loading widget to kind of give some more feedback when we're loading and also maybe when we register instead of just getting the email and the password we can also get some other details like maybe the name your age and you know extra information for particular users and things like that so let me know if that's something of interest but I think we're making some good progress let me know if you have any questions or any problems I'll try to help you out but other than that thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one Laters.